That's right. There's more going on than me, a gyro, gyro magnetic spin. So, let's replace that with our standard disc model. You're saying, well, the center of gravity has changed, so... Now... That was our disc magnet. Say, Well, it's very simple physics. What's moving? Space. What am I moving? What am I rotating? Physical objects. What doesn't change? Fields. Now let's take a look at something that you've never seen before. Okay. Here we have our little Saturn configuration. Here we have our North Pole, and here we have our South Pole. It sits in perfect harmony right in the middle, either side, or perfectly in the middle along the dielectric inertial plane. This is rather easy to explain, but we have two things going on. See? There's that, but let's point this towards our ring. And you'll see it flip as I lift it up towards the sphere. Yep, okay. Now let's try something totally different. So this side wants to come into voidance with our cylinder magnet and this side is repulsed or countervoidance. So, what do you think that will do? Just the slightest little movement. As the closer this edge gets towards the magnet underneath, the more countervoidance we get or repulsion. So we have gyromagnetic precession and we have countervoidance. Just the slightest little movement. Take it too far, it'll just fly right off. You can see how little I'm moving it. So we have voidance on our sphere to our cylinder magnet and we have countervoidance or what you call repulsion on our ring magnet. Right? Pretty simple, eh? So you have two principles, voidance, countervoidance, and gyromagnetic precession. Slightest little movement. Right? Same principles here, clockwise. Counterclockwise. You see the wobble I'm getting? Slightest little bit of movement. A little demonstration. Now the neat little thing obviously about this sort of configuration that's fun to play with as I showed you in our previous video we have free movement of our ring against her sphere and a small air gap in between at which the sphere magnet sits inside the ring magnet along the dielectric inertial plane against dielectric inertial plane between the ring magnet and the sphere magnet. So we have basically a friction free gear here, but we have one pole here, opposite pole here, likewise here, north pole here, south pole here. Thanks for watching.